Hi everybody, today is September 9th and I wanted to talk today about my least favorite subject, squash bugs. Ooh, on my way to the squash bugs, look at these cute little jalapeno peppers here. Got a whole bunch of babies. Oh, tons of babies. That's awesome. Okay. Um, the other day I came out here about two days ago and I was over by those zucchinis. Um, you know, the ones with the squash bugs all over them. And there was an, an infestation like I have never seen before. Maybe they're out here now. I came out about an hour ago and they, there weren't many. But um, they are all over these zucchinis. But when I came out here like two days ago, it was earlier in the day. So maybe that's why um, they were all over the path. Yeah, they were, they were everywhere. There were millions of them. Um, look at, look at that. Um, so I really wasn't going to do much about these this year just because it didn't seem like it did much good last year, but apparently it did because it never got this bad last year. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do this do still is put out some diatomaceous earth is what I'm thinking. Um, I'm going to try to do because this is do not do what I did this year and ignore your infestation. You have to do something. Um, there are there are so, so many out here. Um, like I said, and the whole path was covered over there and now the whole barn is full of them. I don't even know why they're in the barn. There is no zucchini in the barn and the barn is loaded with them. They're everywhere. Um, I know last year we did have quite a few in the house, um, but now after this, I'm worried that we're really gonna have a problem. I have this giant zucchini there. I gotta get someone to pick that here too. Um, yeah, someone who doesn't mind them, but like I said, I can't deal with them. Now they are starting to kill off all the plants here. Um, it's just, they're getting into the tomatoes now and they're just, they're everywhere. So you need to deal with them. I was hoping I didn't have to deal with them. I was hoping to just kind of ignore them this year, um, and hope they go away. But that is, that is not going to happen this year. They are not going anywhere. So they're just multiplying. So I am definitely going to have to spray them with something tomorrow. Look at these beautiful pink brandywine tomatoes. Oh, something on my hand. Look at that, beautiful. So yeah, I'm getting so many beautiful tomatoes now. Um, so I'm gonna, I hear somebody chewing over here. I wonder if there's a hornworm over here somewhere. I can, oh, I can hear them chewing sometimes. Hmm. Ah. Flies are terrible. We're starting to get mosquitoes out here. There are so many ants. All right. Um, so this, this is, uh, this was it for today. Just, I really wanted to tell you to just don't, don't ignore your squash bug infestation because they make their way everywhere. I'm kind of worried they're going to start eating the tomato plants away now. Look at this. There's got to be a hornworm. Or there had to have been a hornworm because there's nothing left to this plant. So there must be a hornworm in here somewhere. Hmm. A little harder to find when there's like no plants left. been trying to get as many of these picked as quickly as possible. So we're getting there. It's just, that's kind of sad. There's no plants left. So there's not much of plants, lots of tomatoes though. So I just keep picking them every day. Um, yeah, I wish I, wish I would have recorded the squash bugs the other day. Cause like that dead leaf there, it was just, it was coated with them. And then they were all over. This whole thing here was just full of the squash bugs. Kind of like that little, that zucchini is. Look, it's got ants on one end and then squash bugs all over the rest of it. Okay. I guess that's it for today. That's all I really wanted to talk about. I'm going to go 
I have some diatomaceous earth. I just have to find it and get it out here. Um, and I'm going to try at least sprinkling that on some of them. I do have that seven, but I don't think the seven works as good as the diatomaceous earth. I always thought they were kind of the same thing and maybe they are. Um, and my seven just is older or something. and doesn't work as good, but I'm going to get, I do have diatomaceous earth. I just have to find it. And I'm going to bring that out here and put that on them. And maybe we can slow this so that my whole house isn't full of them. And maybe we can cut down on them in the barn too. So I hope so. Because there is just too many here. I'm losing a lot of tomatoes under the plants. Kind of odd. All right. Well, I'm going to go for now. Um, I hope you're not having too many bug problems in your garden or at least squash bug problems. <sighs> yeah, these tomatoes are not doing well here. Not many more weeks left. What is going on over there? Hmm. Oh, she's working on some showmanship for tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching if you watched this far and Take care, and I hope your tomatoes are turning nice and red like these are. Yay, and have a great day. Bye.